I tried to come out here. They kind of like sent me back. Questions <laughs> <laughs> right here. Justin, hey. knowing this rivalry, what's the emotions like seeing how the game ended in the walk off fashion and breaking the streak of two losses to them the way they? They transpired the last two times. Yeah, um, I've been here for a lot of games, and I think that's probably the, one of the the best experiences that I've ever been a part of. Um, for us to, to fight back like that and to just not lose focus is was unreal, and, and it was great to celebrate with these guys. Left hand side. Back? No. Okay. Josh, you're at 21 games now consecutive of throwing a uh, touchdown pass. Uh, how long do you think you continue on this streak? Uh, wait, what was the question? How long do you think you can carry on this streak? Um, I, I think just with the guys that I have playing receiver, it's uh, it makes my my job a lot easier. Um, just having confidence in them and the running backs, I think they make my job a lot easier. On the right back, Steve. Justin. <laughs> speaking of <laughs> speaking of those guys, um, can you talk about the pass to Dylan there on the third and eleven in overtime, and then? Um, just kind of what, going to him throughout the entire first half, what you saw from him on the route. Yeah, that's a, that's a play that we run 20 times a, 20 times a practice. So I, I knew that he was going to get open and, and ran a great route. And, and uh, he's a guy that, shoot, just makes plays wherever he's on the field. Warren. Yes. You ready? Sorry. Raise your hand. I'm sorry. Right in the middle. Okay. I talked to Shane. I asked Shane this question about that last play. Uh, what the conversation was like on that call. Take us through that last play and what the conversation was like uh, in the huddle before the play. Um, man, uh, Coach Chris Ball just told us that we was going to uh, – we're a down, uh, downhill team. You know, we was going to keep running downhill. And the play call came in. It was a three cap. <clears throat> and I just – I was glad that my the coaches put put the trust in me to run the ball in that third and six, I think it was. And then we just executed and went in. And, you know, I got in. But thanks to the whole line, man, that hole was big. Parted it like the Red Sea. I think my, my man Travis said that too. CJ, a lot of guys after the Stanford loss, CJ, talked about how down you were. How redeeming is it to come back and perform like this, You know, being the, the bell cow of this offense and then scoring the, the game-winning touchdown? Oh, very redeeming. But, you know, the – I had I kind of put that Stanford thing, uh, the Stanford fumble behind me, and went back to work. You know, my guys rallied behind me. They told me it's gonna be okay. Uh, we just went to work and uh, we came out here and executed. And good, had a good game plan. We just executed. Yeah. Second row left, Eric. Calvin, you and a lot of the offensive line really pushed for Mario to get this job. I mean, how validating is it to go out and, and pick up a win like this for him? I think it just shows how strong the culture that he's building is and how how strong this team is when it comes to dealing with adversity and being able to push through that and just get stronger every single week. Back right, Steve. Justin, last three weeks with Dylan, it feels like he's obviously emerging as your guy. Has he been getting more open, running some routes? I mean, even with, he was saying he thought the defenses were targeting on him, but is he just kind of getting himself up in more positions for you in the last few weeks? Yeah, so we've done a good job of kind of moving him around, um, putting him in different spots and running different routes with him. So he's, he's really not one dimensional. He's a guy that, that goes out every position, knows what he's doing, and and uh, I think just to have a guy like that just makes the offense so much more potent. Calvin, obviously the game plan today was to run the ball and to wear them down running it. Um, how, how do you inject your pride into that when you know that's what's going to be going in? I think it just comes down to when you're playing a team like Washington with a really strong defense, It you know somewhere else in the game something's going to give, and it's just – continuing to keep pushing every single drive, even if they don't result in scores, that you never lose sight of what the actual end goal is and to just keep pushing and driving every single play. Justin, a lot of times for college teams, it's tough to bounce back from a big, big win like this to the next week. You go up to Pullman, you lost to them three times in a row. They can really wing it. Um, how much are you guys now built for some adversity because of – the Stanford, the winning at Cal, and now winning this. Do you guys feel like, hey, we can turn the corner and go and face that adversity? Yeah, that's something that Coach Chris Ball addressed after the game. He 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 came up and mentioned that we got a great opportunity next week and and to not to not sit on this one and and we'll definitely celebrate this and um, but it's a great win. But looking forward to next week and we'll get back in the film room tomorrow. Front left, Matt. For CJ and, and Justin, what do you make of the play of the offensive line with two starters going down and Penne and Warmack and just seemed like there was no drop off as the game went on? Yeah, I mean we've we've got 
eight or nine guys that, that we have complete trust in. Um, I know we had to put in Brady and Jacob Capra, and those guys didn't miss a beat. Got complete trust in them, and, and uh, it was really fun to be a part of and, and really proud of those guys. Right here, front, center, Tyson, then Ryan, then Rob, then James. Uh, <laughs> James, don't roll your eyes at me. Uh, Ka- Marie, I forgot you. You're next. Thank you. Am I good? Am I good? All right. Uh, Calvin, I know, I know you guys uh, practice this all the time, and especially in fall camp, you guys go at different positions. But just in, in the middle of the game, uh, how much of it an adjustment is it, you know, swapping up on the line and, and you know, sh- shifting where you're playing and those sort of things? Um, I mean, the only really adjustment that you need to make is just flipping, you know, just schemes in your head. But other than that, you know, throughout the whole week, we, we prepare and we – you know, you can hope for the best, but you, you should expect the worst when it comes to anything during the course of a game. So we just always want to make sure that we're ready and we work. Just, Justin, how excited were you for CJ today? Yeah, CJ's a guy that, that uh, you love to have on your side of the ball, and, and uh, I've really enjoyed playing next to him. And, and to see him have two touchdowns today and, and the way he's running the ball in the, the past couple of games has really been something. So um, he's, got, he's got a lot a lot more ahead of him, and I uh, can't wait to watch him. Justin, how helpless is that feeling at the end of regulation when you just have to wait and see what happens with the kick? And what's the key mentally to, to shift into overtime right away and, and get the win? Yeah, it's definitely tough for sure. But to know that you've got a defense out there doing everything they can, it's reassuring. And and uh, just to get an opportunity to go play in overtime was, was really special. And we had our guys locked in and, and keyed in, and we knew what we were going to do. And, and fortunately, it played out that way. Cal, coach talks about time about your versatility. I wonder how many how many positions do you feel like you could get plugged into, and and get by and kind of play at the, at that level. Uh, I I have full confidence that I could play all five positions on the offensive line. The only position that I haven't played in practice or a game is left guard, but I have no doubt in my mind that I'd be able to just slide down there if I needed to. Second row middle. Last question, James. Kevin is one of only two residents of Washington State on the team. Just and I'm, from my understanding with a family who grew up around UW, what did this win mean for you, for your family? Just how important was this in this rivalry and what did it mean to you? Uh, I just, it's truly special just seeing how hard our guys have worked for this and and doing it for the, the groups of players and fans that have come before us that have really built a foundation for this program. And just trying to do and trying to honor them with how we're playing it. Awesome. Thanks. Good job, guys. Thank you.